so in this video we will learn about how you can get that uh, frosted glass kind of look in blender so without further delay let's get into it now first of all open blender on your computer and uh, press 0 on your numpad key for the camera view select the camera and uh, under its object data properties change the type of lens from perspective to orthographic now duplicate the default cube one times and uh, move it downwards and uh, scale it in such a way that uh, it serves as the background for the scene now select the original cube and uh, move it upwards in z-axis make sure that uh, one part of this cube is uh, submerged inside the big cube now select your camera align it to get a better look of the scene now get rid of the light source Change the rendering engine from EV to Cycles. Select the device type to CPU or GPU. Enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 128. And under color management, change the look to punchy. Then go to world properties and add a sky texture. Get rid of that sun disk as we don't need that. Change the sun elevation and sun rotation value. And change the amount of air to 0.05. The amount of dust to 0.5. And leave all the settings as usual. Now to get a preview of the scene but before moving ahead let's add a uv sphere scale it down what's in between the cube then again head over to rendered view select the main cube click on this icon to add a new material and uh, leave all the settings as they are and uh, under transmission increase the transmission value to one and uh, same for the sphere change the base color of the sphere to any color of your choice whatever you prefer select the second cube and remove the principled vstf shader and add a principled volume shader join it to the the volume in the material output and uh, since we don't want the volume to look more dense so reduce the density to all the way zero add a color ramp node and join it to the emission strength then we will prepare a simple setup for uh, the ground fog for that uh, add a mix node switch the data type from float to color and uh, join it to the color ramp then add a noise texture and a gradient texture and uh, join it to the mix node press ctrl plus t to get the texture coordinate and mapping node set up a few adjustment to the settings unless you are satisfied fight by the end result. Now change the emission color of the volume shade of blue. Add a plain mesh in between. So that's enough for today's video. Hope you guys learned something new. If you found the video useful, do drop a like, subscribe the channel and don't forget to add your valuable comment. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.